r slash israted, what would you never buy used? Sex toys. And yes, I do know people who have. And am, hashtag x200b. Edit, holy shit that was a lot more responses than I thought. I get it, you can sterilize them and there is apparently a decent market for it. Mentally though, I still couldn't bring myself to buy a used one. Y'all do you though, be whatever kind of freaky makes you happy. While my initial reaction is fucking gross. Giving it any amount of thought tells me it's fine provided you thoroughly clean it. Toilet paper. Oh my god someone who has the same mindset as me. Family cloth. Is this a good time to tell you that reusable toilet paper exists? Basically it's a rolled up cloth that you wash. A condom. Come again? Was expecting this. Was not disappointed. Every morning there's a condom hanging from the corner of my girlfriend's four post bed. I know it's not mine but I'll see if I can use it for a weekend or a one night stand. A friend of mine bought a house. He was telling me that they replaced all of the toilets because other people had used them. I immediately asked can I use your bathroom? Damn it this is the second time I make a joke like this and someone has already made it. You know condoms are reusable. You turn it inside out and shake the fuck out of it. Soft furniture, ew. Agreed. I had bed bugs in university, yay dorm life, and am not repeating that experience. I guess you never sit down outside of your own house? A child's car seat is the first thing that comes to mind. I just threw away two convertible car seats and an infant car seat and base. The thought of it made me physically ill because it's $200 a piece. Even though they've never been in an accident, it would eat at me even worse if something bad happened to another family that used our car seats after us. So in the trash they went. A Range Rover. What if you need a starter car for your daughter? Look up highest user cost vehicles I think these top the list. Shit break. Then no sale. How about that? The car has spoken I have spoken. You obviously don't get what's happening here. So be gone with you. Unless you can get it from CarMax with a $3,900 warranty that covers everything. Mattress. Normally I'd agree, but one time I got a mattress off of CL for $250, it was a $5,000 mattress that this lady and her husband bought one week before his job took him overseas, she was selling it to move and be with him, had that thing for years, one of the best beds I've ever owned. Underwear, makeup, shoes, you can get toe fungus. I read this so wrong lol. I thought you meant that you could get fungus from all three. I bought tons of second-hand shoes and have never had an issue but I thoroughly clean and rejuvenate them before wear. So. So. As a reverse of this don't rule out buying used shoes. Loads of people buy expensive, good dress shoes for a wedding and never wear them again before selling them. I bought a pair of $500 dress shoes for half that and you'd struggle to tell them apart from something you tried on in a store. You can easily replace a leather lining for less than $5 if it bothers you. Roast me. Motorcycle helmet. Bought a pair of unworn structure leather shoes at Goodwill for $20 turns out they are made by some Italian leather maker. Tampax. But Katex is perfectly fine. What about Obi? A car seat. Never, ever buy a used car seat. Many insurance companies even give a stipend to replace car seats with new ones after a certain amount of time. And even if you're just in a fender bender, replace your kid's car seat BC there can be non-visible stress that reduces its effectiveness in protecting a child. Thank you for coming to my TED talk. Me who just pulled a salvage driver seat from the junkyard, guess I'll die. Uneasy face. Though I have one ID say a Dodge, specifically a Charger. A toothbrush. Piercings. I mean earrings and nose piercings can be cleaned thoroughly and then chucked into an autoclave and they'll be cleaner slash more sanitary than anything new that's been sitting out for a little bit. Piercings that are made out of precious metals and slash or have gemstones in them are absolutely worth buying used and any jeweler that gives even the tiniest shit will properly clean them. My parents bought me an expensive ski helmet for Christmas when I was 16. I went skiing with school a few weeks later, did the mother of all unintended somersaults on the slope, only managed half of it and crashed headfirst into the frozen ground. Half of the helmet cracked but I survived without even a concussion. Best Christmas gift ever. The look on my mom's face when I came home with the broken helmet thanking her for the present was priceless. IG you mean body jewelry? If it can be autoclaved then it's fine. Groceries. That's called eating at a restaurant. Anything that is safety equipment, helmets, 
etc etc backslash can't think of anything else lol backslash syringe number one answer condoms which is odd since you can shake the fuck out of them no most popular answer condoms underwear baby and child car seats i used to work at a thrift store and car seats were one of the can't accept under any circumstances items makeup mattresses and amp box springs earbuds slash ear pods or anything that you'd insert somewhere in order to use and choose mattresses coffee machines basically any food making stuff some people are gross and i would never take the risk by buying food related items from strangers underwear i learned my lesson with this when i was in my first apt we were given a microwave that was full of roaches shoes mattresses and tires underwear and a mattress depends and what does it depend on slash s toothbrush diapers period pads dildo and condoms any bmw hey a lot of people make a living that way any bmw made after like 95 the old ones if you can find them in good shape are solid machines mattresses box spring and rails headboard is fine but not the part you actually sleep on why do we accept hotel mattresses yet not one or two other people for a long period of time <laughs>